Did you know that 90% of the plastics we use aren't recycled? And what doesn't get recycled often ends up in our parks, our gardens, our playgrounds, and our oceans. It's no surprise when only half of Americans have access to curbside recycling. And even for those of us who do, our local waste companies limit the kinds of plastics they'll collect. It's time for a recycling revolution. The crowdsourcing technology we use today for everything from ride sharing to food delivery has provided increased access, improved service, and lowered cost across many industries. Now we intend to use the same model to disrupt the recycling system. Nubin is developing the first free on-demand recycling service to accept any and all types of plastics. More plastic sorted equals greater impact. Nubin users will be rewarded with discounts on purchases at participating grocery stores, drug stores, and gas stations. With the Nubin app, anyone anywhere can request a pickup. Nubin collectors will come to your home, pick up your recyclables, and deliver them to one of several Nubin collection points in your town. From there, Nubin will ensure that the material reaches real recyclers and will publish audited reports on how your material is being repurposed. I'm a Czech, the founder of Nubin. I built a successful career in Wall Street and helped lead a startup company that was sold for $4.5 billion. Nubin is led by a team of passionate entrepreneurs with deep experience in recycling and dedicated to positively impacting our planet. Nubin's business model is simple. We won't charge in-home users for curbside collection. We'll be supported by our corporate partners who will reach out to our users to market their goods and services. We'll earn fees on rewards redemption and we'll receive fees on our commercial and institutional business. This will allow us to keep our service free to the general public and encourages more people to recycle. Investing in Nubin means reaching more homes and making the waste collection process more effective and honest. It's impact investing at its best. Are you ready to join the recycling revolution? Good morning, um, my name is Lee Clayton. I'm a plastic recycling engineer and I've been in the industry for the past 28 years. I'm excited to have with us in the studio today, Mitch Hecht and his team from Newbin, a startup company that I'm personally very excited about as it offers the potential to dramatically improve the handling of waste plastics and make it possible for more recyclers such as myself to get access to that very important plastic waste to then be recycled. So why don't we get straight to it and say hello to Mitch, the founder of Newbin. Mitch, good morning. Good morning, Lee. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having us. So yeah, at, at Nubin, uh, we are starting a new company that is uh, intended to really dramatically change the way that we currently think about um, recycling and how we do recycling. Um, could I just ask the young people there to introduce themselves, please? Um, hi, my name is Kennedy Horton. Uh, I'll be working with Nubin as a campaigner. Uh, hi, my name is Aaron Horton. Uh, I've been doing grassroots organizing for about the last four to five years. Uh, my name is Ashley Heilman. I'm the senior campaigner with Nubin. Um, been with Nubin for about a year now. Are young people today aware of the importance of recycling? I'll take it. Um, personally, I do think that young people are aware of the need for recycling um, and the importance. But with that being said, I feel like uh, the culture in general um, that we kind of ex exist within, uh, so not specifically just the demographic of young people, but um, Western culture in general, um, it kind of needs a facelift of sorts when it comes to uh, how we think about recycling and what that process could look like. So I do believe that there are a significant amount of young people that are aware of the importance, but I think as a whole, um, we all need to kind of push forward to that place um, and young people will be instrumental in helping move that needle. And I think too, um, you know, young people are, are getting more and more attached to this, this idea of environmentalism, mm -hmm. um, especially compared to maybe older generations, because, you know, being on our phones, we're constantly seeing and being fed all of this, this media that's, you know, oh, you know, climate change, oh, the plastic crisis, you know, lots of, you know, different scenarios where we're like, you know, oh my goodness, What's going to happen in 50 years? Will I be here? Will I have kids? You know, so I think it's it's very much on the forefront of young people's minds. What is it about the process today that's inspired you to join the startup? Sure. Um, I think, you know, one of the biggest pluses to Nubin is like Mitch said earlier, you know, um, we're, we're giving something out to them as well, you know, so you're not having to pay uh, fees 
for trucks to come in and pick up your garbage once a week or your waste or your recycling. You know, we're, we're coming to your door, you know us, uh, we're your community members um, and we're, we're taking it for, for free, but then we're also giving you um, you know, echo rewards for it. We're giving you coupons for, for local uh, businesses for it. Um, and I think that's, that's a big plus for all generations. The fact that we could give uh, more life to single use plastics is huge. Like I, you could flip through any channel and you'll see like a sea turtle with a straw in its nose, you know, because that straw ultimately got sent to landfill because nobody wants to recycle a straw. Nobody really wants to recycle uh, styrofoam or anything like that. They just throw it in the trash and ultimately it won't ever get reused. I think it takes somewhere near like a thousand years for plastic to start disintegrating back into uh, the earth. And I've never seen a human live a thousand years. So if we could give more life to these products, your straw could end up being a plastic bag down the line and that plastic bag doesn't have to end as a plastic bag it might become a tire one day you know so uh like mitch was saying uh we don't have to keep drilling for virgin um resources when we've already extracted so much out of the earth and we could just keep on reusing it so